What's up you guys, today we're gonna go over the new Ken Carson video edited by Nida. If you want more tutorials like these, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below what the next tutorial you want. Today we're gonna go over the endless mirror effect used here. Alright, let's get right into After Effects. So once you're in After Effects and you have your clip that you want to, to do the effect on, you want to make sure that it's a clear object with the defined edges. So once you have your clip, make, uh, make sure to duplicate it and go to the pen tool and make an outline around your object. It could be a window or a mirror or any square or circle, it doesn't matter. So let's uh, let's rename our layer to window. So what we want to do now is go to click M and go to your mask and then go on to this arrow and click motion tracking. And then you will see this window here. So what you want to select is a method of position, scale and rotation. And after that, click the play button here. So as you can see, our clip did a good job of tracking the, the movement of our object. So you can see the camera moves inwards and the window is tracked to the movements of the camera. If your tracker didn't track your movement as well, you can do frame by frame once you, you can click this button here to go frame by frame and adjust your mask. So when we're going to make the window go inwards, we want to duplicate our layer. So in my example, I want to do 10 times inwards. So let's have this bottom one be our reference and duplicate this one 10 times. Then open up the position and scale of each one. Just press P and then Shift S. And then keyframe the position and scale of each item. Go around 12 frames. So we want the, the animation to be all the way inwards at 12 frames. So what, what we need to do is change the scale of the layers. So we want this one to be at 100, which is going to be the one you see here. And then you go all, from 90 all the way to 10 in my example. So now you can hide all the layers and we're gonna adjust each one individually. So what we want to do is go to the one that's on 90 and make try to center this one as good as possible. You can use objects such as this dark one right here to reference the way it's going inwards. So I'm gonna place one right here and then make the one that's on top of that visible and adjust this one accordingly. So like this, and then just keep doing this process with all your uh, objects. Try to be as accurate as possible when you're centering these to make the effect look as good as possible. So when you have adjusted all your all your masks accordingly, you can see we have a pretty cool inwards effect right here. So let's see how our animation looks so far. That was pretty cool. If you want to go one step further, you can keyframe all the all the objects going backwards so that we have a kind of a bouncy effect. So what we want to do now is go six frames ahead and then hold shift and press all your your position and scales. And then right click and click the reset button. So now you can see everything is back to normal again. So let's see how this looks now. That's a pretty cool effect. Now, if you want to make this one smoother, have more bouncier effects, you can highlight all your keyframes right here and then click the F9 button to easy ease all of them. So now you can see that it's more bouncy. If you want to put your own little twist on it, make it a little more creative, what you can do is search for Glow and make sure you have the Sapphire Glow plugin installed. So drag a glow on the one the one layer that's going to be 10% scale, because this one is the one that's going to go inwards from the top right here. So now you see this, this layer is glowing. And what we actually can do is keyframe this glow to give it a little bit more cool effect. So let's keyframe at the start the brightness, make it go from zero and to, for example, right here when it's all the way in to, example for example, 1.2. So let's see how this looks. That is pretty cool. Let's make sure that the when the animation animation is over, the glow goes away. So this is our final product. 
looks pretty cool. If you want more tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like, comment what effect you want me to show next. And also follow me on Instagram in the description if you want to as well. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time.